Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect the CTS data feed to the Sierra Chart platform. Now, typically, if you are using a free trial for this platform, the data feeds come with a free trial period as well. However, the two week trial period for the CTS data feed costs $5. Because of this fee, the setup process is slightly different from the other data feeds, such as Rhythmic. This tutorial will assume that the user is a customer or potential customer of Optimus Futures and is initiating the demo through our website. After you have signed up and registered for the demo, you will be brought to this thank you page. From the thank you page, navigate to the email that you registered with on our website. Throughout this installation process, you will receive two emails from us. You're currently looking at the first of the two emails. This email essentially confirms that you did request a demo through our website, and it also confirms that we may contact you again in the future through email. To confirm this email, simply click on the blue highlighted link where my cursor is currently located. And once you confirm, you should receive another email from us very shortly. So head back to your email inbox, and this should be the second email that you receive from us. And we have the steps laid out for you. First, you'll need to download the platform. So if you click on this first link, simply click on the green link right here. And this is the installation process for the Sierra chart demo. Once you have downloaded the demo, you can head back to your email and click on step two to create your Sierra account if you don't already have one. From here, simply click on the create an account page and follow the process laid out for you. First, enter in your email address and follow the rest of the steps. Now, this next step is where this differs from the other data feeds that you can use on this platform. So for this step, head over to step three in our email and click on the connect to CTS link. Now I suggested to navigate to this page because the process is laid out step by step for the user. As I mentioned before, I'll only be illustrating a demo account of a CTS trading account. If you are trading with a live CTS trading account, the first 12 steps on this website will be for you. If you are using a demo account, you can either follow my tutorial or you can follow anything after step 12. It is worth noting if you are trading live, you will need to have an already established CTS trading account through your supporting broker. If you do have this account already, you'll simply need to go through the instructions here and enable the CTS trading connection for $10 a month. Once you have enabled the CTS trading connection, you'll simply need to input the trading service routing as well as your username and password for the CTS data feed. Once you have that established, you can simply pick up the tutorial from step 12 and follow my instructional video. Now I also suggest navigating to this page because not only are the steps laid out for you, but the required links to activate your CTS demo are located here as well. That being said, I would first suggest clicking on the Sierra chart exchange data feed link. And from here, click on the third step, go to activate, deactivate, exchange data feed features and exchanges. Now from here, enter in your username and password that you created for your Sierra chart account. So once you sign in, you will be brought to this page. And if you scroll down just a bit, you'll notice the first step is to add credit to your account. Now you only need $5. So to do that, simply click on the blue add credit link and follow the process through the Sierra chart website. Once you've added $5 to your account, scroll down just a bit more, set your location and set your broke current broker. As we are Optimus Futures customers, we can set Optimus Futures. If you don't have a broker and you're just following this tutorial, please select do not have futures broker. After you've set these, scroll down just a bit more. And now we'll need to set a number of real time symbols. You can set whatever you'd like, but as the website suggests, and so do I, 
I would suggest setting 100 real-time symbols. So click on set number of real-time symbols, click OK, and now confirm this. Click OK once more, and return to the previous page. So now we can scroll down on the site to activate our market data feed. Scroll down until you reach the table with the connection in the action columns. And in the first row in the second column, you can click on the activate trial button. It's worth noting though, that you must have your account information currently up to date. Things such as your last name, your address, your phone number, zip code will all need to be filled in. If not, you will be notified that the system that you need to update this but I wanted to make sure that you knew beforehand before clicking this link. So that being said, if you already updated your account information or you need to do so either way, click the activate trial button and click OK. Now from here, if your account isn't updated, under action result, it will tell you what needs to be updated. If it is updated, we have activated our market data feed. So now that we activated our $5 market feed demo, we can also request our CTS demo account. To do this, head up to the top tab where it says account management and select the account control panel. From here, scroll down to the very bottom until you reach manage external service login details and click on this link. And from here, we'll click on the very first tab, the request demo account underneath the demo CTS account, of course. Click OK to confirm. And we have now assigned a demo account for the CTS order routing service. You'll notice underneath the action result tab that we have been assigned an external service account. I would suggest either writing this down or taking a screenshot of this page as the external service account is important information. So now that we have a CTS demo account, we can head over to the Sierra chart platform and establish our data feed within the settings. So now that we have the platform open, we'll need to establish this Sierra data market feed as well as the CTS data feed. To do this, head over to the top left hand corner and click on the file tab. Navigate your way down to data trade service settings and click on this tab. Now underneath the service tab, we'll need to search for CTS trading, and it is in alphabetical order. Now, if you did select a live account, simply select your trading firm that you are trading with. As you can see, they have AMP, Dorman, Ironbeam, Philip, and Wedbush. As I mentioned before, I am only trading on a demo account. So for those of you that are using a demo account, simply click on CTS trading demo. And that's it. Sierra chart automatically recognizes that you have established this Sierra data market feed as well as this CTS data feed demo. Once you've clicked on CTS trading demo or your corresponding clearing firm, simply click on OK and then go to file and connect to data feed. And if you have a green bar, that means you have successfully established a connection to the CTS data feed. Now, just to confirm that our data feed up is up and running and established, we can always double check and confirm this by opening up a chart. To do this, head over to the top left and click on the find symbol button. I'm going to open up a contract to the CFD and I will choose to open up the S&P 500 index and I'll open up an inter intraday chart. As you can see, we are waiting to download historical data. And once we're finished downloading, we will be presented with a chart that is actively moving in real time through the CTS data feed connection. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.